guys, my name's Lorna and today I'm going to make sausage casserole. So let's get started. This is me got all my ingredients gathered up for the sausage casserole. So I've got some brown sugar, some Worcester sauce, some garlic, butter, onions, some cooked and chopped up sausages. Um, I've got carrots turnip and parsnips and some potatoes and also some of my tomato base sauce and some chicken stock. Now if you look at these potato um these sausages, that's eight sausages cut in half lengthways and then each side chopped into four pieces. Now I'm doing this casserole and I'm expecting it to make two full meals for us. Now we often get set, get told, you know, oh, my husband eats four sausages on his own. How can you feed a family with four sausages? Well, quite simply, if you were making a stew and you bought a pound or half a kilo of beef, then you would expect chunks this size. And you would expect that this much would feed you twice. So if you leave your sausages whole, then yeah, you only give them one sausage. They're going to be like, what's this, mum? Or whatever. But if you chop them up, then it's plenty. Eight pieces of sausage in a casserole along with all this. Um, it doesn't look like nothing. You'll see once it's ready. This is the butter melted now, so I'm just going to put in my onion. Stir it. And then I'm going to leave this on low, cooking for 20 minutes. And that's just going to soften these onions. And then we're going to add some sugar and it's going to caramelise them. And they're going to be fantastic in the casserole. So we'll come back once it's ready. Here we go. Onions have been cooking for 20 minutes. You can see they haven't burned because they've been turned down low. So now we're going to add the sugar. And we're going to turn the heat up and we're going to cook this for three minutes and then we get a kind of caramelising going on. Brings out the sweetness in the onions and it's just tastes amazing. But we don't want to burn them so we have to keep stirring, make sure it doesn't catch. There we go, that's been three minutes now so I'll turn the heat back down and now I'm adding the garlic. And keep stirring that to make sure the garlic doesn't catch. So the heat's turned down now so it should just start to relax a wee bit. Yep. And then we're going to cook this for three minutes. That's the garlic been cooking for three minutes now, so we're going to, now I'm going to add the rest of my veg. So my carrots, I'm going to just give them a stir through and make sure we get some of that sweetness. And then we've got the turnip, sweet, I say. I don't think it really matters, any root veg will do. When I first started making this recipe, uh, I didn't have any root veg in it at all. It was just sausages and potatoes and onion. Um, I think there's a version on the website, but it's so different now. Um, just over time, I thought, yeah, let's stick that in there. Let's try it with this, let's try it with that. And it really becomes a one pot dinner, which is really handy sometimes because you can just, I mean there's a wee bit of prep here but once this is done it's just lid on, leave it, come back to it in 45 minutes and everything's ready to go all onto the, the plate or bowl and that's you. Um, I'll just add the potatoes and now I'm going to put in my stock and my tomato base sauce. Um, now this tomato base sauce was made from summer vegetable mix and god knows what other vegetables are in it to be honest. I think there's peppers, um, cauliflower, broccoli, aubergine, courgette, um, tomatoes obviously, quite a few other bits and pieces that were in the fridge and I made that up 
couple of weeks ago and froze it and that's it going in there now and give it a good old start oh and I almost forget got to put the Worcester sauce in now at this point if you hadn't pre-cooked your potato um, your sausages you could put them in but I always pre-cook them because usually it's because they're reduced sausages and I've got them cheap and when I get them reduced I just cook them and then freeze them like that but in a casserole if you haven't browned your sausages first they can just go a bit soggy and limp and not very attractive so I'm just going to leave that like that I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm going to give it a stir every 10-15 minutes and I'll come back to it in about 45 minutes and I'll put sausages in and that'll be it so this is a casserole now it's been cooking for about 45 minutes so I'm just going to put our cooked sausages in give it another stir and then I'm just going to let them heat through for another 5 or 10 minutes and then that's it's ready now what I find with this is really handy as I said earlier the the one pot dish it's really handy because you're not standing over it cooking the whole time but also because if the kids have got something on or people working shifts or whatever this can literally just be once these sausages are heated through that can just be left and it can be turned down low if they're due in soon and if not then just switch it off um, plate it up or even just leave it in the bowl and then when people come in they can just help themselves heat it up in the microwave or put the pot back on heat it through so casserole's ready now and um, I'm just going to dish it up so like I said before this is um, this is to feed us twice because it had eight sausages in it so I'm just going to dish it up we've got four bowls and a full tray now I'll let this cool down put the lid on it and then I'll stick that in the freezer and that will become a homemade ready meal for a night when I'm being busy through the day or I can't be bothered or it might even go with us to the caravan um, and become a, a quick dinner one night when we're away